What's up guys, it's Mirage again with another Photoshop tutorial and today I will be teaching you how to make a basic stock signature. Um, it's a very basic, it's for beginners um, and it does not take up a lot of layers at all. It may seem a lot because of the gradient maps but it's not really a lot of work. But um, So let's get started. What you want to do first is click file and new and create a new document. I'm going to make the width 400 and the height 125 but it's mainly up to you how big you want your signature or your image to be after you have done that press ok I'm going to paste in my stock I already have had it in my clipboard and I'm going to resize the image and the way you can do that is by pressing ctrl T or you can just go to edit free transform but I find it easier to just use the shortcut now I'm going to hold shift while I resize it because if I don't hold shift and resize it the image is going to get distorted so I'm going to hold shift and it's going to scale it down for me proportionately whoops okay so there we go now what you want to do is merge it down to create a background and also you want to duplicate the layer after you have duplicated the layer um, you want to start creating some depth in the signature so you want to blur out the background a little and to do that first you have to select around the character and we're going to use the pen tool to do that I'm, I'm, not, I'm going to go uh, really fast at this, not going to spend my time to be a lot accurate, but that's because there's time constraints um, in this video. I only have a couple of uh, minutes to make this tutorial because YouTube says you're not a partner, so you only get 10-15 minutes, and which is why I'm always asking you guys to, um, well actually I never ask, but it would be nice if you guys would um, comment, subscribe, uh, like, dislike, whatever, share to help um, I mean, get a partnership that way I can create uh, better tutorials for you so, and step away from basic signatures and start teaching you how to make some advanced ones so after you've done that and you select around the character you want to right click and click make selection you want to make selection for around one pix one or two pixels feathered and press OK. Then you want to right click and click select inverse. Once you have done that, go to filter, blur, and lens blur. And mess with the radius and th that's going to control how much you want to blur the image. I wouldn't blur it too much, just a little to make it still seem realistic and press OK. I'm going to zoom out to regular size so you can see um, what it looks like and I'm going to deselect. So once you have the focal, it's pretty good, I didn't do too bad even though I uh, did it really fast, but now we have some depth. So now we're going to add some lighting and to do that I'm going to create a new layer down here and I'm going to going to use the brush tool choose a soft brush and around 197 is fine because um, it's not too big and it's not too small because all you want to use is the curved part of the signature not the entire circle but just the part that's um, that has a little arc so once you have that you want to make the flow at 60% it should be 100 by default and choose the white color you want as you can see from the picture the lighting is coming from top left because the right side of his face has a shadow and you can also see some little um, brightness around the head so I'm going to use the arc and create some light source is coming from the left side and 
then create a new layer again. This time I'm going to go to image, apply image, and then we're going to go to filter, render, lighting effects. You can mess with however you want with this, it really depends on how you want the lighting to be in your uh, signature. I like to keep things less wide and more light on the uh, focal. So that's what I'm going to do. That's okay. So as you can see, create some more light. You can use a normal and lower the opacity, which is normally what I do. But you can also use light. So let's say you don't want the darkened areas, you just want the light. So it will keep the lighting and you can lower the opacity like that. Or let's say you don't want the lighting here, you just want the dark part, so then you can use darker color. And it will take away the light part and just keep the darker shades. So I'm going to keep it on normal, I want both, so I'm going to lower the opacity. And that looks good, 66%, alright. So now we have lighting, um, I would work with flow, but that requires a little bit more time. And because of that, so I'm going to jump right ahead into colors. You want to click the gradient map down here, and you want for the first gradient map, you want to choose black and white, and press OK. Set the blending mode to saturation at 25%, and create another gradient map. This time, we'll make it. My favorite, the purple and orange, and press OK. I'm going to set this on color, but depending on your image, you might also want to set on lighten, so I mean soft light, or screen. But I'm going to keep it on color for this image, and I'm going to lower the opacity. Create another green map. This time, choose this uh, blue, red, and uh, yellow gradient map and just shift it over so the length is equal and between each of them and click again over here to create a new color and we're going to make this a little bright orange closer to yellow and then press OK. I'm going to set this to lighten and move that and keep it on low opacity this just gives it a more realistic feel to the uh, uh, to the photograph or the image. And once again, create a new gradient map. This time we're going to use bright green and bright blue. Press OK. Set it on soft light and lower the opacity. And keep it at 14. Create one more green map this time we're going to make it really light pink and really light yellow whoops yeah close it, the yellows should be closer to white and set on lighten and load the opacity for that as well and keep it at five and now we're going to create another new layer since we're done with colors and I'm going to apply image filter, render and lighting effects one more time this time you want to darken more around the uh, focal oh, whoops I got it. And lower the opacity. <laughs> Once you have done that, you can create a new layer, image, apply image once again, filter, sharpen, and sharpen. Sharpen the image gives a nice look to the focal and then you can add your text so I'm going to write 
text at 30 pixels and maybe add a little caption And there you go you can add your border or whatever but that's basically how to create it let me show you the before and after that we you can see this was the before and then this is what we did to it before and what we did to it looks pretty sexy I will provide a link for you so you can download the PSD and that's how you create the signature.